Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this box card. This is a style that was actually requested to me and I saw that Dawn from Dawn's uh, Stamping Thoughts, she's made it. She made one quite a long time ago actually and she's got a few on her channel. It's a really fun style and when I saw it I just thought I wanted to do more with the box part in the middle there that you can see. So I've turned this into a masculine card and it's a football changing room. So the idea is, is that that middle box section is like the locker and I'm actually going to be giving this to my brother-in-law and I'm going to pop a gift card in there as well. It's a really fun style. It can be made for many occasions. Lots of people in the chat were saying it would look good as a toolbox, maybe a makeup box, all kinds of things. You could really personalise this. And I've added a gatefold style to mine, which is slightly different. So if you want to, you know, make it that way, you can, but you can leave those sections out if you you want to. So first of all you're going to want a piece of 11 by 10 inch cardstock and this will make the standard size box card and this is a 5 by 7 size. And you want to score along the 11 inch side at 2 and a half, 4, 7 and 8 and a half and then you're going to score along your 10 inch side at 1 and a half and 8 and a half. Okay this is a 220 GSM cardstock by the time I've added my mats in there so it's going to be nice and strong. I've then got these two pieces here which are three by seven and you want to score along the short side at half an inch and these are the gatefold pieces. So these are the optional pieces you don't have to add these but I did like it opening up to create that kind of locker room. So you just want to fold and burnish all of those score lines. Next, you want to pop just a couple of little markers here, and it's just a notch at five and a half. And this is along the 11 inch side. So that's one side and then flip it. And again, along the 11 inch side, pop a little marker at five and a half. That's going to be a guide for you in a moment when we do some scoring. So now we're going to score a little triangle shape. So you can see I'm just showing you there. You want to grab your ruler and your stylus, pop it on that little notch and then score down to the bottom of that middle rectangle that's along that 11 inch side and you're doing that on the opposite side as well and that's going to help you be able to fold that box shape inside itself and the whole card then will be able to fold flat so again I'm just scoring that triangle mark there just make sure you've got a soft surface this is quite a soft desk that I've got um, but if you've got like a self-healing mat or something then that might be better to score on there and I'm just using a metal stylus just so I get a nice impression Next, we want to start cutting away the four corners. So you're going to cut up past the first score line and to the second one. And then you're going to remove that rectangle on the end. So you're just left with that small little square. And it's that square that we're going to use to bake, make the box basically in the middle of the card. So you can see there, I've just got that little square. You then want to repeat that on the other four corners. So I'm just speeding it up there and you can see just going around and cutting away each piece you want to remove that large rectangle. So now you'll have these tabs and you can see we're starting to get that box shape. Next you want to fold that triangular shape inside so you've got those kind of little wings. If you've made a twist and pop it's a bit like that, it's the mechanism kind of feature. So you're just folding those pieces back out so the triangle faces inside the box. And now you'll know that you'll, you know, your box is going to be able to fold flat and next we can start attaching and uh, bringing it into that 3D shape. Now you can stick the squares on the outside or the inside. I've opted for the outside because I don't think you then see it but if you want to stick them inside then you'll see that there and just see I'm kind of just showing you. You can cover that with pattern paper but it's on the back of the card so it's entirely up to you. I'm going to stick them on the back again but I'm just showing you there that's what it would look like if you want to stick it on the inside. I'm also just taking a little wedge off of the sides of each of those square pieces just so that they when they fold in they're completely hidden. So then I'm just popping some glue on the inside square and then I'm going to bring up the side and wrap it around the back. Like I said, if you want to stick it inside, then you'll put the glue on the other side and stick it in. Just popping it on the side there, just use your bone fold or anything to kind of flatten that out. And then you're going to repeat it on all four corners. So again, just using my glue there just to cover that square and again, just fold that over and make sure you've got a nice right angle. So don't rush this part because if it's slightly out or you haven't maybe stuck them in enough, then the box won't fold flat. So just make sure they're nice and, you know, even. And each time you stick one down, just try actually folding the side of the box as well, just to make sure that that goes flat each time. And then you just want to repeat that on the other end. Okay. 
Okay, so next now you can see it all coming together. So just push those side triangles in and then the whole box will fold flat. And that's how it will look without the gatefold. So if you like that style, then that's perfect. You can start decorating that and it will look lovely. But I now want to add these pieces on, which are the little gatefolds. So I'm going to add my glue onto the tab and you can see it just all folds in nicely. But it just means you've got a bigger scene if you do want to create more of a showstopper. So I'm just using some of my all-purpose cloud glue. So this is going to start to add strength to the card. And just all along that half inch tab. And again, just spend some time lining it up. Make sure it's nice and secure. You could pop some pegs on there if you want to. You also could have different colour cardstock here, which would look quite nice as well. You don't have to have it all the same. But you can see now how we're starting to get this really big card. I'm just making sure that's all secure. Next, these pieces here. So they end up being two and a quarter by six and three quarters, all of your panel pieces. So that to start with would be uh, four and a half by six and three quarters and then you would stamp your image and then cut it in half if you want to do something like I have. If you're just using pattern papers then you'll just want two, four, six, eight pieces of two and a quarter by six and three quarters. Again all these measurements will be in my blog. On the front I've done that patterned layer that's actually two by six and a half if you do want to do another kind of matte layer on top of it. So I'm just using this football paper. It's actually from Game On, which is a Paper Addicts paper pad, which I got from Craft Label. Again, if I can still find that one, then I will link it below. So this is a solid piece. I just wanted to show you the other half. So this is a whole piece here, which is that four and a half by six and three quarters. And I'm using the stamps. These are from the Creative Stamping Magazine. It's issue 92. I believe it's sold out, but um, again, if I can find any sellers, I'll link it below. And I'm starting to create that kind of locker room, changing room kind of effect. So I'm just using the stamps from that A4 stamp set. Now, this is for my brother-in-law. So his birthday is the 9th of September and his son Charlie's recently celebrated his birthday, which was on the 13th of June. So I've put the number nine on one T-shirt and then I've put the number 13 on the other. So it's really personalised as well. Um. I was thinking about maybe writing their names as well. I might do that at a later date. I'm not sure, but I think it looks really cool. So I'm going to pop some music on now and you can sit back and enjoy the colouring. colored so I've already gone ahead and cut that one in half so again they're two and a quarter by six and three quarters now and I'm just sticking them on the opposite side so it just gives you that locker room changing room look. Next I've got this pattern paper it's by Studio Light I actually picked it up from a charity shop and I'm sticking that inside so for the inside piece that you're seeing me uh, adding the glue to now this is three by seven you may need to just take a little bit off of that measurement because it is going inside the base of that box but three by seven. Again, I'm using the all-purpose Kalau glue there to keep everything nice and strong. And that one just goes nicely inside the base there. And then the two pieces for the sides are one and a half by seven. But again, you may just want to take a little bit off of each side just so it does fit in there. It might pop out the top slightly. But it was a really cool kind of design. I thought it worked well for inside of a locker. But you could use just grey cardstock, maybe distress it a little bit. People were saying about doing this as a school locker. So maybe someone's starting school or it's the end of school for them and you could personalise it so it looks like their own locker which I thought was a really nice idea so I'm just adding the other one there onto the other side 
and then that's pretty much everything done. So next, I'm going to be showing you how to add the pop up piece, which again is optional. If you don't want to have anything popping up, you've got a nice space there now to be able to add your gift card or you could just personalize it with another message. So this is a piece here that's uh, four by one inch, no, four by three quarters of an inch, apologies, and I've scored it every one inch. So one inch, two inches and three inches. And you just want to fold all of those sides so that they are mountain folds. And then you're going to fold the whole thing in half and it's going to stick. You want to make sure you stick it above the triangle piece. You can see I'm just kind of pointing at it there. Otherwise, it's going to catch on it when the box closes. So I'm just adding glue to, I folded it in half and I'm adding glue to the squares either side of the open end. So you can see there, just flip it over, glue at one end and then glue at the other. So you've got your squares at the other ends are completely free because that's what you're going to stick your whatever it is you want to add to it. So I've got the glue there and I'm going to bring it up it's probably about two inches up there. Lay it down flat, make sure it's nice and straight and it's butted up to the side and then just close the card and the glue will stick to the side, the right hand side there. And then once that's all secure, when you lift that up, it's going to be a raised level and you'll be able to pop things onto it like I'm showing you there. So that's ready now for me to add these footballs. So I thought it'd be quite nice to just have some footballs in there as if it's kind of like the coach's kind of cupboard or something. Um, I may still add some more. I haven't as yet. I've just added the three here, but I think it'd be quite nice to maybe have even more. And um, yeah, I might add to it. It's a really, it's, it's easy for me to do, but I'm just sticking them so they're kind of overhanging so they hide that pop-up piece. So but again, keep the with the colours that you're using. So if anything is showing, it kind of all matches. This is the belly band. It can be as long as you want, really. You want it to be, kind of want it to be at least over 10 inches, but this is two by, it was the 12 inch card stock. So I'm just wrapping it around the card there. You want to wrap it so that it's not too tight. You want the person to be able to remove it with ease, but you also want it to, you know, stay on there and not fall off. And then I just picked some circles from my stash because I wanted it to kind of look like a football. And I've just stamped some more of the images there and a happy birthday sentiment, which again, if I can find, I'll link that in the description box below. And I'm just attaching that to the front. Ideally, you want to attach it to the side where you've joined the belly band. I forgot because I was too busy chatting, but you can see there. It looks really good. This back piece here is a piece of two and three quarters by six and three quarters. And this is where I'm going to write my message. So I just got the stamp there from that set, which says goal, just to add a little bit of interest on the back of the card there as well. And I'm just using some of my glue just to get that stuck down. So it's become very strong. Like I said, you know, a lightweight cardstock's OK if you're adding mats and layers and especially if you're using Kalau glue because it will soon strengthen it all. But you can see now how that sits nicely on the back and you could easily add pattern paper to the other sides here as well if you wanted to but I've left mine plain I know my brother-in-law won't be too worried that there's not pattern paper on the back now I'm just finishing it off with a sentiment here again this is from a woodware stamp set it's a really good one I thought it worked well for my brother-in-law nothing says happy birthday like a piece of folded card I know he's going to appreciate this so I thought I've got to use that sentiment then I'm just using some glossy accents just to cover elements of the images really so the black centers or the pattern sorry on the footballs there i use it on the parts of the trainers some of the football shirts it's entirely up to you where you go with this i use it a lot on my cards i just think it adds a really nice effect and that nice sheen so that's the finished card so i popped it back into the belly band just so you can see a closer look you see the shine there from the glossy accents and then it's really easy for the person to know what to do. Take the belly band off and then it opens up to display that scene. You'll also see I've added the football scarf and it's I've stamped on there, it's your day. And I just pop that on the left hand side there. And you can see all that lovely detail, all the shine there. And it stands up really nicely. So I can't wait to give this one to my brother-in-law. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. Also popping up now will be some more fun card tutorials if you want to watch something next. As always, I really appreciate those of you that watch my tutorials. And if you want to watch more afterwards, then that's even better. So as always, thank you for watching. I'll link as much as I can below and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.